What's going on, YouTube? Rox is the Torterra here, and today we're bringing you another episode of Pokemon Insurgents. And I just was like moving around all that that whole time, just not just going uh, 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 and like taking pictures of myself. Just now, no, I wasn't taking pictures of myself. But I mean, I was just like adjusting everything while I was recording, uh, about starting the recording. <laughs> and um, yeah. So anyway, I just drew a blank for no reason just now. But anyway, in the last episode, this is episode 22 actually, and in the last, ep is this episode 22? Oh my god, I'm really losing my count. When we started, it was episode 21, and then it was 22. This is 23. I think this is episode 23 now. So we're on episode 23 of Pokemon Insurgents. And last episode, we fought Nora, and she revealed a mega Pokemon. If you guys don't want me to spoil it, I'll give you like five seconds. So, one, two, three, four, five. So Nora had a... um. A Mega Flygon, and that was insane. It evolved, and it was humongous. It was a humongous entity on the field. Humongous Dragonic entity on the field. And it had Bug Buzz, and it almost destroyed my entire life. And I thought I was losing somebody, um, losing somebody uh, in the last episode, but we didn't, thankfully. So, we are here, and we have to go right back into the library where we uh, saw Damien and Nora in the last episode. We have to go up in there, talk with them a bit, see what's going on. So let's get the team update. We have Riku holding the Delta Blastoise Knight, and he is a Delta Blastoise himself. He has the ability Shadow Call, which ups his Dark Moves in a pinch, and he has the moves Vacuum, and Protect, Dark Pulse, and Knock Off. We also have Poison Flare, our Delta Sun Flora, who has the item Focus Sash and the moves will -Wiz, Sludge Bomb, Fire Blast, and Flame Door. She is Poison and Fire Typing, if you guys couldn't tell from the sprite and the moves that's on her in the name. <laughs> and we have Sexy Rock, the uh, Bulldor, who has a Rocky Helmet, and the moves Smackdown, Power Gem, Rock Slide, and Stealth Rock. I'm just gonna stretch a little bit. Um, actually, I want to know if my Bulldor can evolve into like a Gigalith, because that would be really nice to have a Gigalith right now. I'm gonna look it up. Um, maybe not during the episode, but maybe after the episode, I'll look it up and get a stone. Maybe it has a stone that evolves it or something, and maybe I'll evolve it before the before the uh, beginning of the next episode or something like that. So we have Alicia here, who's our Azumarill. She has the item leftovers and the moves Aqua Tail, Aqua Ring, Super uh, Super Power, and Play Rough. We also have Lanario. Lanario. I always say it so weird. I think it's Lanoru, Lanoru or something. Lanoru. We're going to say Lanoru because that's easier for me to say. Lanoru. And he has the item Quick Claw and he has the move Slam Burst, Power Jump, Discharge, and Diffuse Ray. And last but not least, we have the savior of our LP, I guess, in a way. Um, even though nothing really happened. But actually, that that was pretty phenomenal to me. That that was a big happening. There was something happening in that episode. Um, so yeah, she is savior. Her name is Divine Ichu for that very reason. Uh, she is the savior after all. She has the X-ray belt and she has the moves Calm Mind, Psychic Moonblast, and Magical Leaf. And that's about it for our team. Let's go up in this library and see what's going on. Oh man, today was a hot day today. It's still the same day that I was recording the other episodes that I'm telling you guys. But yeah, it's really it was really hot today. And I'm wearing a hoodie right now because this is what I like to wear. I like to wear my, my Kingdom Hearts hoodie. It's like an organization styled hoodie. I told you guys this for a long time ago, but I like to wear it because yeah, it's my thing when I when I record. I like to wear it. Welcome to the you you. you what? How do I enunciate this? Utira or Utira? Utira, Utira. I don't know. Utira or oh, Utira, Utira. Utira Town. Utira. We're gonna go with Utira Town. There's so many times I've said the name differently. I don't know. Utira Town Library. Welcome. I'm Zachary, the librarian here. I've made it my goal in life to instill the love and joy of reading in young kids. If you need any help, let me know. I'll find that very, your very own book of your life, and I'll write everything about it. I'm reading this fascinating book about ancient Turin. Apparently, it was created by Pokemon with a thousand hands. With a thousand hands? That might be misconstrued for Arceus, like Arceus' thing on its back. I forgot what they call that. It had a name for it. Is, is it a Shakram? No, that's like a that's what Xena has. Shakram is what Xena has, but it looks like a Shakram, and it's like on its on its body, clasped on its body. I don't know what that's called. It's something. If anybody knows what that thing that's on Arceus is called, let me know. It's not a plate. Please don't say it's a plate. It holds a plate, so it can change the typing. It's not a plate though. Cause look at the item. When you see the items in your um, you know, if you look at it in your um, in your items, your bag, you can see what the plate looks like. And the plate looks like a little slab, and it's always like a different color, depending on the typing it is. So like if it's a grass type, it's green, you know, or the meadow plate, it's called a meadow plate, and it ups grass type movement, it's green, you know. Anyway, it's a book called Religious Freedom in Torin. Would you like to read it? Yes. In Torin region, pride, the Torin region prides itself on religious freedom and... Wait, unfortunately this had le led to several wars and conflicts, such as the cult plague on a nation. 
steps are being implemented to change the laws on religious freedom. Propositions include restricting worship of legendaries or merely removing ability to bypass any laws due to religious beliefs. Um, those rocks look pretty powerful in the front. Um, so apparently we're supposed to find a book for somebody. Hmm. This music is from... What, Lavender Town? So we're supposed to find a book for that guy... And if we could find that book, I'm looking I'm looking to see if there's a location I think it says. Um, where is it? In the far west side of the Oh my god, this this library is huge actually. Um yeah, this is the this is the west I believe, so We can't click on that. We can't click on that either. The Great Ghastly. The Great Gatsby, hmm. Oh, The Great Gatsby. I see what he did there, now I get it. I was like, The Great Gatsby, sounds kind of familiar. It's not a real book, but The Great Gatsby. I see what you did there, Suzerain. see what you did there. The Great Gatsby, I like that joke. Um, Team Building Basics by Eric. By Eric? The Rabbit Ash of Courage, wow. Some pretty cool names here. Let's step on this ladder, is it up here? Okay. Worship Giratina. Oh, books that worship Giratina. Yo, that's that's my type of cult right there. <laughs> Darkrai is not my Persephone. No. Just talking to Delta Blastoise. So we're getting some knowledge, our knowledge up in this place right now. We're getting the books are just so darn interesting. We're just what's this? TM62 New Moon. What the hell? New Moon. Is that like a fairy type move? The sky darkens tonight, increasing the power of darkened ghost type moves. That's pretty awesome. So if we had someone instead of New Moon, then uh, I guess Riku would get like a really crazy buff in his dark type moves. While he's already in a mega, that would be crazy. He's a mega form, New Moon in the sky. Still a better love story than Twilight. New Moon. Is that Was that like a reference to, to Twilight? I don't know. It just seems too convenient not to be. <laughs> Yo, you saw the, those... those um. What would you call those? Those uh, it's, it's not really an obelisk. It's not an obelisk, but it's like one of those um, things that have like it's like a little a mini statue statuette thing it has people's heads heads on it. Um, there was a Professor Oak one. This book isn't very interesting. Maybe a different one. Damn. Hey, shush! You're not supposed to be talking here. Listen, kid. Don't get wrecked by by Riku. Don't get wrecked, please. Don't get wrecked. Um, we're so we're looking around. This is quite. Annoying. Oh, Ultra Balls. We got some Ultra Balls from this guy. We talked to him. I didn't care what he had to say, though. Like, I'm just looking for that book. What if, like, one of these people... And what, what are those? I think those are supposed to be eyes looking at you or something. Um... Is it moving with you? It is moving with you. It is moving with you. Those eyes... There are eyes inside the, the paintings, and it does move with you when you walk by it. So I'm noticing those little details. This is Professor Elm, yo. That's freaking awesome. So I don't. I wonder what, how, how old they are now. Are they just dead and just really renowned? Um, the Hitmontop's Guide to the Galaxy. That's awesome. I think it's um, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And I guess Professor Oak and Professor Elm are like really renowned professors now at this point in time. Um, but Professor Oak opened up the game for us, didn't he? Didn't he open the like introduct the game? So yeah, he's not. Pa he hasn't passed. I don't think so. American Psyduck. <laughs> I don't know if that's supposed to be like American Horror Story or just American Psy something that sounds similar to it. I like the references that they have in the book. So is there another side? Okay, good. Because we have to find Nora and Damien. Oh, uh, hello. An abandoned wing. There we go. There's the event. An abandoned wing. Nice find, Roxas. This might just be where the prophecy is stored. I agree! Nobody knows the prophecy except for the leaders of the cults. It would have to be hidden somewhere. Most people wouldn't look. Oh, 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 that's somebody else. That's a problem. Um, are you three going into the abandoned wing? May I ask what about it interests you? Oh, we, we're, we're like just going to look for a very old book, sir. Uh, we're trainers. You see, uh, we want to protect the region and we figured that the one prophecy about the cult 
the Colts might be back here. My my voice is all over the place. I need to find an actual voice for her. It is the Raven voice, and she's supposed to be all all depressed and kind of sounding as well. Raven's not depressed, but she just has a really melancholy voice. So she's supposed to sound really pretty much like dark. But I don't. I can't capture her right now. I see. You've been surprised at how many people have looked for that prophecy. <sighs> Taurus. Ah, uh, Taurus. Oh, he was basically saying, ah, uh, Taurus. Like, we're just, I'll let you in if you want. There's no prophecy back there, but there's that one glowing orb. An orb? What do you mean? That's right. It's been there since the library was built. It's only one of many different odds and ends, ends lying around in the wing. For whatever reason, people believe it has something to do with the prophecy, so they'll try to get it to react to them. I've already seen hundreds of people leave disappointed. Do you really want to waste your time? Well, we may as we may as well try, right? Damien, for once in your life, you're actually right. I don't know why I'm looking to the side. I'm just like capturing what she's doing. Let us in, please. And uh, I promise we'll be quick. Fine, but we really will need to be fast. I have a lot of things to do today. Oh, busy, busy guy snapping his fingers in our face. All right, it's unlocked. The glowing orb is in there. It's in the far end of the abandoned wing. I'll take you to go see it. Be careful, though. There are both wild Pokemon and possibly even trainers back here. So you don't know in your own library that there might be trainers in here and that there's wild Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. She just did, she just did what I was doing. She was like, um, really? There's people in there and you don't know that they're in there? Let's go. Let's go find out what the future holds. I need to get better at her reading because, like, they... It's all over the place for me. So, there's wild Pokemon here. So, I guess this is counted the new encounter, too. So, I'm expecting to find, I guess, what, ghost-type Pokemon here? Because they are playing the Lavender Town song. Oh, my God. If that's the case, I got to be careful. And I don't want to... I want to capture them, actually. I want a ghost-type so badly. Um, So, I actually probably lead with Sexy Rock because of that. Oh, no. There's trainers in here, like he said. Um, what is it? What is this? Oh, we should actually battle her. <gasps> Our first encounter is a Miss Magius. Gen 4 power right there. Gen 4 power right there. They knew. They knew. How? What won't kill her? I'll go for a, a power gem. Growl. Okay, why does Miss Magius have a growl? So we're going to go for the power gem. Don't kill. That's not doing much. All right, let's go for another power gem. Psy wave. Ooh, that's 40 points of damage, right? I think that does 40 points of damage. I'm actually going to attempt to capture her now. Yo, Miss Magius, though. Miss Jackson is one of her names I would give her. But this is a male, so I'm probably just going to... Now I can't even call him Sophie. I want to call him Sophie, like, from like, Housewoman Castle. Call her Sophie, but it's a male. That's a gross. Male Miss Magius. Mr. Magius, I guess that's, that's gonna be his name. Mr. Magus. You don't wanna get caught. So I'm probably gonna have to power gem you again. Astonish. Now, she, granted, she doesn't have like a crazy uh, moveset. So that's kinda helping us not die right now. She has Psy Wave. And does continue to do 40 points of damage. So, no, don't kill it. No, don't do it. Um, we're gonna go into our Riku. Alright. So, we're gonna go for a Ultra Ball at this point. I should've went for a Timer Ball, to be completely honest, because Timer Ball would probably be way better in this scenario. Okay, so we do catch that. In the bend. Okay, what evs? We're gonna get the Miss Magius. Miss Magius. Its cries sound like incarnations. Incantations. Those hearing it are tormented by headaches and hallucinations. Ooh, bars. Those are tormented by hallucinations. That whole that whole thing before that was connected with it was oh my god. So his name is Mr. Magus. Mr. Magus, because he's a male Miss Magus, sadly. So, 
but it's Gen 4 power regardless, so I'm hyped to get a Gen 4 Pokemon. Another Gen 4 Pokemon. Um, I'm gonna heal up Sexy Rock. We have no Gen 4 Pokemon anymore because, you know, Striker fainted. He died. Sadly. Sadly. Oh, uh, let's... Should we battle? Let's battle her. Oh, my God. Alright, so it just looks like there's three people over here to battle. Not so bad. Not, nothing crazy. Oh, uh, let's throw some rocks at... Did I press the right button? Doesn't matter. Oh! Hex did so much! And I should have actually rock slided instead of power gemming. Hex did so much. Yo, Hex this, yo. Hex these nuts. Yo, Lampin. Hex these nuts, yo. Sorry to say that, but yo, Hex these nuts. I don't care. I really don't care. Hex these nuts. That's annoying. How dare you? Spirit Tomb is gonna come out now. You know, we do have Alicia for that. Alicia, come through. Come through. Come through. She wants that Spirit Tomb, yo. She wants it all, yo. You already know why. She's Alicia. She's Alicia. Gonna get ya. Uh, why are we making songs for her? Oh, Sucker Punch is resisted, though. So, relax. Play rough. Get bodied. He can actually live this, though. Oh no, we're huge power, not living that spirit tomb. Yo, spirit tomb was powerful. I wish we could have found a spirit tomb in this place. That's a Cynthia team right there. Part of the Cynthia. Yo, that's powerful. Just even just talking about it is powerful. Gonna get you up. Gonna get you all beaten. Um, alright. Switch up. Get wrecked, little. Get wrecked, little old lady. How dare you? You little old bag hag. Let me stop. Let me stop. I love grandma. I love grandmas. I have grandma. Miss Megas, and now a female one shows its face, and that could have been Sophie. I'm just gonna run. That was our Sophie right there. That was Sophie. Just saying. Yo, let's get the hell out of this part, though. Ooh, Lyric wouldn't even been that bad to caught if we caught that. That wouldn't have been bad to catch. It's um, Fire and Ghost. That would have been a good typing on our team, actually. Oh lordy. Oh lordy. Oh lordy, lord, lord. Where are we going? We're trying to... Oh, how I love you, Miss Magus. I do love you, but you need to stop bothering us. I need some... This is, this is the perfect area to have the cleanse tag because it's like spiritual and whatnot, so you just ward off ghost types easily. Uh, uh, let's just fight Let's just fight everybody so we don't have to come back. This library is full of... Uh, what, ancient spirits, you said? Okay, he only has Perseus. That's a... Po oh, he has a Gengar. Please no Destiny Mon shenanigans. 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 I went for Dark Pulse. Please no Destiny Mon shenanigans. Please no Destiny Mon shenanigans. Please. I shouldn't have went for Dark Pulse. I'm regretting my decision right now. I'm terrified. I'm terrified. Please no Destiny Mon shenanigans. Yes, you Shadow Ball. We are going to eat that up and we're going to body you in one hit. I pr oh my god. I prayed that he didn't have Destiny Mon. He probably did, but he just didn't go for it. Oh, that's gonna be really scary to deal with ghost types in the future. Oh my god! Oh my god! Alright, so I think there's like another person here. Yeah, it says there's one more person here. Oh. oh. Okay. So we're gonna leave this guy. That was so scary. Destiny Bond shenanigans with ghost types. Please, I don't wanna deal with that. Alright, this is the last person it seems like it says on the list. So I don't know what they have and stuff most of the time because I'm not really looking at their Pokemon. I'm just looking at them. But I know they all have ghost types, obviously now. Oh, there we go. I'm gonna look at our whole team now. She has a. She has a. Okay, I see. I see what you have in the back. Um, I'm gonna make evolve again and just try to just get the most damage off that I can because this thing gets Destiny Bond too. I've, all ghost types get Destiny Bond, so. Yo, Dusclops' Sprite looks really powerful here too. But you know who Sprite looks better? Who looks more powerful? Yo. Delta Blastoise. Bop. Mm, bop. Get it up, out. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. We're actually having a good... We're actually, oh, this is like the best... Play. Yo, if we encounter a gym that has ghost types, we instantly win that because we have Delta Riku for that. We have Delta Riku, yes. We have Riku for that. Dark Pulse again. We are going to have Swede, so let's just make sure we body this Jiffin. This one is bulky. Yes, one-shotted. Does it have Aftermath? 
Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't know what's happening. Oh, my God. We're back. We're back now. We're back. Uh, it got a little crazy just now with the camera and the game just flew. It flew. The, the recording just flew around and I don't know. I'm going to probably edit all that stuff out that you guys didn't see. Anyway, we're back. I'm just going to make sure we at least get to the main point of this episode. Oh, my God. It's a Gengar. A wild Gengar. So we could have had a wild Gengar. We'd had a, a nappy on our team, yo. Probably wouldn't have called it nappy. Probably just would have called it something else. I don't, know, I don't have a nickname for Gengar, really. I really don't. So, Gengar is an awesome Pokemon, though. It's pretty powerful. Man, and Nappy's actually made me grow to like it a lot more. I've used to, I used to be okay with it. I never had any, like, ifs or, like, ifs or ands or buts about it. Like, I didn't hate it or anything. I just didn't really have an opinion. It was, it was a cool, it was cool. I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. That's about it. But I've grown to like it a lot more because, you know, it's Nappy's favorite Pokemon. And it puts in a lot of work. I've used it before in Wi-Fi battles. It's pretty good. What the heck is this? Escape rope. That's quite needed. Um, I'm gonna save because they gave me a escape room for a reason. So I'm reading in between the lines right now. It's one of those things that a gamer should do. Like when they see certain things set up a certain way, like these, the um, the bookshelves are set up a certain way. I feel like there's something you're gonna walk straight up to, like an event. So I'm gonna save right now because you don't want to lose any data. It's like preventing forest fires. Make sure you also have water and or hoses, and make sure you don't smoke it or whatever. See, here's the event. Are we all here? You see that glow over there, over in the back? That's the orb that supposedly has to do with the prophecy. Seems like a load of rubbish in my opinion. This guy is acting really funny. He's like really against it. I doubt there even was a prophecy. It's probably just a legend. But anyways, go ahead. Get this over with. Whoa. Who dares wake me? Oh, that was too loud. Sorry. No, I hope you didn't bust, bust you guys' ear jumps. What what was that? Oh my god, like what what what's happening? This has this has never happened before. It's so good to be awake again. Who do we have here? House guests? If you're after the prophecy, you'll need to work harder than that. That's right, I'm the one who wrote it long ago. But you're dead wrong if you think I'll just tell you. Whoa. I was the prophet of Arceus and the Oracle of Delphox. The Oracle of Delphox? That sounds powerful. I don't know how they did that whole thing, but that sounds really cool. I've been preaching since before Hoenn was created. If you want to know the secret of the future, you'll have to take it by force. How did you get... Yo, that looks like the guy that's standing right next to us. Ooh, I like his art. Ancient Oracle, question mark, question mark, question mark, would like to battle. Clay doll. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting match because he has uh, what it would seem like is psychic types. Blasters is going to mega evolve in. Mega evil. Mega evil. And hopefully we just just crap all over his life. Hopefully we just have like toxic all over him. Just, just crap all over him. Is a cold existence. So Claydol should have taken took in, Claydol should have taken that because it's pretty specially defensive. But whatever. Whatever. Egg slash. I don't like you anymore. I don't like this anymore. I'm so scared. Um, I don't know what to expect. I should expect the common set, shouldn't I? Uh, do we have Willow on Poison Flare still? Yes, we do. So hopefully we could use a will o -Wisp with her in conjunction with a Flamethrower or Fire Blast and be done with it. Because this is a really scary Pokemon out of everything I've seen in this game so far. Aegislash is going to end the lights at level 50 Aegislash. Let's transform. Aerial Ace. That's not super effective, but it's probably going to bring me down the focus. It's not. Willow. Connect. Ba 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 Bada bing bada boom. Um... I'm throwing a flamethrower right in your face. I'm not going to heal because I think that's a bad idea. That was a bad idea. I didn't heal. We lived it. Flamethrower, please get out. Bah! Poison Flare putting in nothing but the finest. Poison Flare is putting in nothing but the finest of work. Nothing but the finest of work. Jellicent. Um, we do have the Magic Leaf, but I ain't playing with you. I ain't playing with you. We just dodged a bullet. I ain't playing with you. You're going to catch this nice and powerful 
the dark pulse. Alrighty. Uh, let's just. Let's just. Let's just do that. Let's just. Everywhere. Just crap all over him. Alright. We could have actually went to Lanoru as well. Lanoru? Lenoru, that's what we're gonna call him, Lenoru. We could've went into Lenoru and um, used that, but there's a Delphox coming out, so I'm gonna stay in. And I'm just gonna, once again, just... Oh, Flame Door, that's bad. We could eat it up though, right? We got burned, that's fine, because we're going for special moves right now, and our Delta Blast way seems like it's a special attacker anyway. Woo! KO! See, this is, a, this, is a, this is really fun, because we actually have a type advantage for once in our lives. During this whole lock, we have a type advantage. But net. Banette, um, it's sure. I'm a little scared because I might have, uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Destiny Mod. But Max is gonna stay in. He's gonna go for the Mega Ring. How are you dead or Ancient Spirit and you have a Mega Ring? So we're gonna see Mega Banette come through. This is gonna be pretty cool. Awesome. Actually, I have to use Mega, Mega Banette. I haven't used it yet for Showdown. So Snatch is gonna, you can go for Snatch. I'm fine with that. You can Snatch this Dark Ball. Snatch these nuts. I've been saying that a lot in this whole this whole um, episode. Snatch these nuts, though. <laughs> Snatch these nuts. <laughs> You're right. You got rocked. You got wrecked, yo. You got wrecked. Yeah, he, there's nothing to say. Yo, his art looks pretty cool, though. I give him that credit. His art looks pretty cool. <laughs> Not bad. All right, I'll spill the beans. This prophecy has been misunderstood many, many times. Even the cult leader, the cult leaders have never heard the correct version. Wait, so they don't know what the real prophecy says? That's right. I'm not going to read it to you and I'm not going to read to you the entire thing. It's a terrible poem that's easy to misinterpret. And I don't want to be that oracle, you know. <laughs> I hope you're ready. Uh The first thing predicted was the emergence of a hero chosen by a legendary Pokemon. Secondly, this hero will succeed undefeated. In Torin, they'll move on, victorious. The last secret piece of information is that in the end, the hero will join the eternal, the infernal cult and betray their friends. That's basically... Wait! What? One of us is going to join the infernal cult? Yeah, what? You can't leave us with that. Who's the hero? How can we stop that from happening? You can't avoid fate, Nora. Oh no, it's her. And she's powerful. Please, it's her. It's probably her. Well, wait, that's, who's this? Well, you can't say he doesn't have a flair for the dramatic. Oh, that's him, that, that was Damien. This is really hard to read sometimes because their speech bubbles are really, I don't know, it's all over the place for me. This reminds me, what, what, author, what author L. Frank Baum did when introducing, oh, stop it, how can you stay so calm? We were just told that one of us is a traitor. This isn't time to joke around. Well, he did say that you'll save the region, right? I'm a librarian. As prophecies go, I've heard far worse. Plus, nobody knows about this, right? Hmm. You can use that to your advantage. But anyways, people are probably waiting for me at the front desk, so I need to head back. Like, yeah. Let me know if you need any more help with, well, whatever, with whatever, whatever library stuff I can help with. <laughs> See you around, heroes. Guy has the utmost attitude, the utmost. Nora, listen. Don't panic about this, okay? Don't panic. Damien, we just got told that we're going to lose. Worrying about this isn't going to help. We need to work together. If we're going to let if we're going to let this make us turn on e on each other, we might as well give up now. Oh, criticizing me already, Damien? You know, if I were an infernal cultist in disguise, I would draw attention to myself. I wouldn't draw attention to myself. But of course, you you wouldn't know anything about tech, do you? Not Mr. I ran my mouth in all oh, not Mr. I ran my mouth in front of cultists and Nora, please stop! You know what I you know what I think, Damien? I think your stepmother was right about you. Mm. I, I I'm going to go now. I'll I'll see you in Sonata City Roxas. There's a gym there and we'll need it's badge in order to dive. Yo, he's gonna be the he's gonna be the one that betrays us because she just acted like that with him. Uh, 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 why did I say all of that? I don't know what came over me. I, I feel awful. I'm go I'm going to apologize. I really hope I didn't hurt him. I can't lose somebody else. Damien, wait up! Yo, 
it's, yo, stuff just got real. Oh my god, this, this episode's like 30 minutes. I hope I could cut down the size of this episode. We're gonna save right inside the abandoned wing, and we're gonna wrap up today's episode. That was amazing. This is really good to leave it on this note. Um, my best second like button, like it, a friend, break it, destroy it, do whatever you want to. Just don't hit that subscribe button. Just don't hit that dislike button because, yo, this episode was really good. It was pretty like you know intense, but. Anyway, thank you guys so much for the support that you guys have been leaving on the um, video so far in the series of Pokemon Surge. I know that a lot of people are happy to see that Insurgence is back and the update is here and that we are going through this again together. And that's about it. I'm out, you guys. Bye!